Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Recently, China issued a clear request to the Dutch company ASML, requiring it to compulsorily buy back some important lithography equipment. This move has attracted global attention, especially in the lithography machine market, where China has become a force that cannot be ignored. As a leader in the field of lithography machines, ASML's products have always performed well in the Chinese market, which has also attracted China's actions against ASML. China's request for ASML to compulsorily buy back equipment this time aims to protect its own intellectual property rights and commercial interests, which reflects China's confidence and strength on the international trade stage. The rise of China's lithography machine market has attracted global attention, and its demand for lithography machines continues to grow. As one of the major suppliers of photolithography machines, ASML emerged at the historic moment. In recent years, ASML's photolithography machines have been very popular in the Chinese market and have received widespread recognition and praise. It is precisely because of its good performance in the Chinese market that ASML's global market share has also grown significantly. However, ASML's success in the Chinese market has also caused some problems. The Chinese government believes that since photolithography machines involve high-tech fields and core competitiveness, they must protect their intellectual property rights and commercial interests. Therefore, China requires ASML to compulsorily repurchase some important lithography equipment to further consolidate its industrial advantages and core competitiveness. This move is also seen as a tough statement by China on the international trade stage, showing China's firm attitude in protecting its own interests. Intellectual Property Protection and Commercial Interests in China In recent years, China has made active explorations and efforts in intellectual property protection and commercial interests. As the world's second largest economy, China's technological innovation capabilities continue to improve, and more and more companies are beginning to pay attention to independent intellectual property rights and technological innovation. However, China's intellectual property protection still has certain shortcomings, and there are problems such as infringement and theft of intellectual property rights and infringement of trade secrets. The Chinese government has actively taken measures to strengthen intellectual property protection and build a good business environment. Requiring ASML to compulsorily buy back equipment can be said to be a concrete manifestation of China's further protection of its intellectual property rights and commercial interests. In addition, China has proposed a series of intellectual property protection initiatives on the international trade stage. For example, China has proposed the Belt and Road Initiative, which aims to strengthen cooperation with countries along the route in intellectual property protection and technological innovation. China has also strengthened cooperation with international organizations, such as the World Intellectual Property Organization, to jointly promote the protection of intellectual property rights and the development of commercial interests. China's mandatory repurchase requirement for ASML is not only to supervise its market behavior, 
but also to safeguard China's own intellectual property rights and commercial interests. ASML's Patent Protection and Commercial Interests As a leader in the field of lithography machines, ASML's patented technology is one of its core competitiveness. Patent protection is crucial to ASML. However, China's requirement for ASML to compulsorily buy back equipment may have a certain impact on its patent protection and commercial interests. On the one hand, if ASML is forced to repurchase equipment, it may affect its sales and operations in the Chinese market, thereby negatively affecting the company's commercial interests. On the other hand, it may also lead to ASML's patented technology being leaked or infringement, posing a threat to its patent protection. ASML is a high-tech company in the Netherlands, and its technical strength in the field of photolithography machines has always been among the best in the world. As one of the world's major photolithography machine suppliers, ASML has won the trust and recognition of global customers with its innovative technology and reliable product quality. However, China's mandatory repurchase requirements may have an adverse impact on ASML's market reputation and business interests, bringing certain challenges and pressure to the company. China's move to require ASML to compulsorily buy back equipment has aroused global attention and heated discussions. This move not only reflects China's determination to protect its own intellectual property rights and commercial interests, but also raises foreign media's concerns about ASML's patent protection and commercial interests. China is a market full of vitality and innovative capabilities and is constantly improving its global competitiveness. While protecting its own intellectual property rights and commercial interests, China has also actively proposed a series of intellectual property protection initiatives and strengthened cooperation with international organizations. As a leader in the field of lithography machines, ASML needs to continue to strengthen patent protection and the maintenance of commercial interests when facing challenges in the Chinese market to maintain its competitive advantage in the market. The impact of China's requirement for ASML to compulsorily buy back equipment on ASML remains to be seen, but what is certain is that the rise of the Chinese market will continue to attract global attention and have a profound impact on the global lithography machine industry.